where money is saturated is in the phase of distribution. And believe that is why that is exactly the area that we are. And the kind of business we have today is all about the power of distribution. And that is why business experts call, call it the distribution revolution. Now, most of you have known this before, but to me, it is my top secret and that's my biggest motivation in being part of this business because our business, the reason why our company TNS, once upon a time, they decided to move into the direct selling business is because of this wealth. Because they wanted to tap into this wealth so that you and I can share in that particular segment. And that's really, really wonderful. Okay. So, now, because of the impact of this industry, I mean, time will not permit me to go through to tell you all that has happened. And for information, our industry has, has a very long track record. For example, this industry started around the early ages of 1934 by the first company called Neutralite, which, is, which finally became Amway, you know, American way, they became Amway. And over the years, since that time, if you look at other companies that has come on board, including TS, and the annual turnover that companies accrue from the distribution, this direct selling industry, it is staggering. Billions of, a lot of companies are, are annual turnover runs in the excess of billions of dollars. And we are proud to be part of this particular industry. So I want you to be able to find, build, find this, um, establish this strong foundation. And that is why today, business experts in the like of Donald, Donald Trump, uh, Richard uh, uh, Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, all of them are endorsing our business. These people are dangerous business people. I mean, dangerous in the sense that they are extremely successful. And they are endorsing our industry. Say, hey, we didn't make our money in the direct selling industry, but I can tell you, anybody who is desiring to make it in the 21st century and want to become a business owner must look at the dynamics of this business. And that is really, really super. Okay. Now, let me give you some story. Here we don't we don't stand here to hide anything, but I'm going to give you some statistics for you to see. This, to me, some of the, these are some of the things that really edged me on, that motivated me. If you look at the squats on the screen now, this one of my mentors, uh, he, he's a, in the United States, he started this direct selling business or network marketing at the age of 19 years, and at the age of 20 years, he was making 10,000 uh, pounds, uh, sorry, 10,000 US dollars a month. Then, at the age of 22 years, this is a true story. At the age of 22 years, he was making 20,000 per month to the extent that his boss, you know, because he worked as an employee in a particular company doing network on, or as a, as a part-time business. But he, later, he was making even more money than his boss at the, at, at the place of his work. Then at the age of 80, 28 years, he was making about 28,000 pounds a month. Sorry, 80,000 uh, 80, uh, dollars um, a month. And later in life, he, according to him, he, his highest bonus was about that amount per month in this industry. I'm not saying in TNs, but in this industry. Now, when I when TNs started in the UK, at, at a certain stage, some people were not believing it. You know, most of the time, there are people, have you ever spoken to somebody about the business that they, they doubted you? Anybody doubted you? Yeah. Didn't yeah. believe you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. So it happened to me. So what happened to me is that this is a true story. When I started the business, I requested for my upline to send me a payslip. Uh, those of you who are around, uh, he sent me a payslip by email attachment. So I printed it out. From Most people don't want to disclose their income, but he was willing to give me the email. So I, when we started the business in the UK, I used that email to show to the doubting Thomas. I said, look, 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 look. I said, wow, can that happen? And they, this was around 19... In 2005. So, some of the people believe in the business because they say, wow, if this could happen to some people in the business, then it can happen. So, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not saying that this is the income you are going to make or maybe what people in the UK are making, but it just to help you to see the potential that if you are willing to put in the work, the income potential is unlimited. You can make as much as you want, you want as long as you put in the effort and the commitment. Now, but for that to happen, you need to actually fuel your life through your belief in the products. How many of you, you see, if you don't apply some of this principle to your business, it will affect your business big time because if you have not become an advocate of the product and you go out there promoting your business, you realize that people, you, the, the people in your team will duplicate what you are doing. They will not use the product. But for example, Maria, how many food do you have in your team? 
Pardon? How many people do you have in your team? 200. About 200. Fine. Let's assume that every one of her, by virtue of her training, she's been able to encourage all the people to use uh, products. They love products. And that's right. That means, we didn't have, by virtue of that lifestyle, it's creating a big turnover in the business. So that's very, very important. So what the company is doing for us is that we have to become a lawyer. Once we believe in the product, we need to try all the products. How many of you have tried some products in TNs? How many of you have tried a lot of products in TNs? I think I have tried <laughs> almost. <laughs> and it's really wonderful. And believe you me, it has made a big impact in my health. Even though I'm a health professional, but it really has made a big difference in my health. Somebody so, oh, Mike, your skin is, is a bit better. Is it correct? Is my skin a bit better? Because of spirulina, spirulina. <laughs> okay, so you have to get your... Yes, and then be, share your story. Once you use the product, then you can actually confidently share the product with your mother-in-law. Okay? Or anybody that you really... Yeah, yeah so it's very important. Now... Let me, this, this is going to be the last one I will share with you. As my uh, our dear trainer, country trainer has said, Lisa, this month is going to be a month where we want to really embark on recruiting or this quarter. And it is really important. That's one of the, the biggest ways to grow your business. Without recruiting, your business becomes static. I mean, I mean, to all of us, all of us must go into the act of recruiting and get things together. And for that to happen, ladies and gentlemen, we need to have a plan. Because most of the time, we, we work this business on part-time. How many of you are working part-time in the business? Majority of us, you know, you, or I say majority of people or say. Okay, so whether you're working part-time or full-time, you need to have a plan, a game plan for your business. And this is what I, I use when I started my business. I, and I'm speaking to myself because this is what I'm, I'm also applying now. And I want all my people to also uh, tap into. Because that is what you call the power, power hour plan action. Uh, to help you in respective of how busy you are to move your business on another level so that we can all qualify for the uh, Costco Awards. Now, this is how it works. There are three principles here. First, first, develop a 10 call a day business habits. So every day, you develop a 10 call uh, a business habit. That means you determine to call 10 people every day. And then the second principle is that Pick an hour that fits suit your situation. For example, if you close work at 5 p.m., you can say between the hours of 8 and 9, I am going to use that time as my power hour. And at that time, you actually keep your focus. The, sec the next one is that you call 10 people. 10 people, nothing else. 10 people. Now, the benefit is that what, what you do within the, that period. You are calling people, number one, either you are calling people as a follow-up calls on ongoing prospects, or you are calling 10 referrers, or you are calling 10 people out of, of your business list. So it's a principle of sticking to one hour a day, where within the hour, no distraction, no distraction, no voicemails, you keep the, the calls very short, and you maintain a positive outcome irrespective of positive posture irrespective of what happens so what i want to underscore is the fact that every day by the power of the hour you lock yourself in at that time you don't take phone calls at that time you don't go out to take coffee or tea you lock yourself in within one hour and at that hour is a serious business time you don't you are not going to give yourself rest until you have fulfilled that objective in your business can you do that can we all do that i can tell you we have what we call the principle of uh, simple disciplines and simple error of judgment. This business is not about just an instantaneous work. You come in today, you do a lot, maybe put in eight hours or 20 hours a day, then another time after that, you, you don't see you again, then you come in at, at the same intervals. You don't grow that way. The beauty about this business is be consistently consistent. So you have maybe one hour every day, one hour every day, and you are consistently consistent, consistent in the business, and actually that is going to do that for you. And I believe that if we apply these principles in our business, it's really, really going to help us. And please enjoy the enjoy it. What I want to underscore that even when you call people and they say no to you, please just have fun out of it. Don't, 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 don't lose your posture. Don't become, oh, the person, or oh, I called them before and they didn't get anybody. It doesn't really matter. I make it like a game and just enjoy it. So once we're able to apply this, once we're able to apply this, ladies and gentlemen, it will serve as a solid foundation to help us to be able to move our business forward. Now, finally, before I leave the scene, 
I will have this particular quote for you by this famous American a poet. She said, made a very profound statement. She made a very profound statement. She said, do the best you can and what, until you know better. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Wow, what a statement. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Ladies and gentlemen, within this short time, I've helped you to expose you to what, how you can do better. So once now you've known how to do better, let us go out there and do better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Let's give Michael a round of applause. You can do better. You can do better. I was just 